This one serves as our voice. We cannot sing. Not in these low spaces. Your musics are colorless. We filled you with enough plasma to pop a tank. This vessel is at the edge. Yet, she struggles. You cannot see her magnificence. We are breathing on the embers. We are the mother. We sing for those left behind. The children you thought silenced. We are Rachni. How are you speaking through her? Our kind sing through touchings of thought. We pluck the strings, and the other understands. She is weak to urging. She has colors we have no names for. But she is ending. Her music is bittersweet. It is beautiful. The children we birthed were stolen from us before they could learn to sing. They are lost to silence. End their suffering. They cannot be saved. They will only cause harm as they are. I don't understand. Why are your children killing people? These needlemen. They stole our eggs from us. They sought to turn our children into beasts of war. Claws with no songs of their own. Our elders are comfortable with silence. Children know only fear if no one sings to them. Fear has shattered their minds. Makes sense. A baby left alone in a closet until he's 16 won't be sane. All right. I don't think they'll give me much choice anyway. Before you deal with our children, we stand before you. What will you sing? Will you release us? Are we to fade away once more? Look. Those tanks? Acid. Strong enough to kill anything, no matter its biology. They wouldn't have installed that if they weren't afraid of the consequences of her getting loose. Commander, there's some old grudges in the galaxy. Grudges humans should stay out of. If we kill her, we kill the entire race. Your companions hear the truth. You have the power to free us, or return our people to the silence of memory. Are you a survivor from the war? A clone? We do not know. We were only an egg, hearing mother cry in our dreams. A tone from space hushed one voice after another. It forced the singers to resonate with its own sour yellow note. Then we awoke in this place, the last echo of those who came out from the singing planet. The sky is silent. If I let you live, would you attack other races again? No. We... I... do not know what happened in the war. We only heard discordance, songs the color of oily shadows. We would seek a hidden place to teach our children harmony. If they understand, perhaps we would return. I won't destroy your entire race. You'll go free. You will give us the chance to compose anew? We will remember. We will sing of your forgiveness to our children.
Are you here to secure the situation? If by secure you mean shoot every monster I see, sure. I am certain you are having strong feelings. But what has happened here, it is our fault. You understand? You let these things out? Uh, I am only following the orders. Binary Helix found an egg. It was on a derelict ship, thousands of years drifting. This was Rachni's ship. Inside they find many eggs in cryogenic suspension. A thousand-year-old egg hatched? Yes. Very tough to be so long frozen. That it survived the centuries, this is miraculous. Binary Helix planned to clone Rachni, mass produce them, create an army. But when they get here, they find this egg is not a common Rachni, it is a queen. After she lays eggs, they move her to Rift Station. They are thinking that without her, they can raise the babies to be obedient. Obviously, they were wrong. Ah, this was exactly the wrong thing to do. I am thinking that without a queen, Rachni do not develop properly. Her mind is shaping theirs. These Rachni are uncontrollable. This is fascinating, but we don't have time to chat. These Rachni are beyond saving. It is a sad thing, but they must be euthanized. I am thinking that the Neutron Purge must be set off. How do we set off the Purge? Arming controls are nearby. All you do is insert the key. Then I will give Mira destruct. <laughs> Clear.